Why is math important? It's one of the most frequent questions that I've been asked. It's also one of the hardest to answer. It's one of the craziest as far as I'm concerned. Uh, because it's such an open-ended question. Uh, you know, the, the question should really be, why is math important to you? Or to me? Or to society uh, in general? It's just, it, it encompasses so much. Uh, it's equivalent to asking, you know, why is good health important? Why is it to be, why is it important to be intelligent? Why is it important to be able to read and write? It's such an open-ended question. Uh, whenever that question has come my way, when someone's asking me, you know, asking me why math is important to them, um, you know, I have to sort of gauge the situation. I sort of look at them personally, you know, what I know of them, how long I've known them, uh, what tone they're using to ask me the the question, you know, why is math important, right? Is it a sarcastic tone? Is it a genuine, uh, inquisitive tone that they're using? You know, why is math important? And, uh, you know, depending how long I've known them and, uh, you know, who they are, and, you know, the mood that I'm in, sometimes I'm cut and dry, you know, very sharp, telling them exactly why math is important in general. Uh, or if I know them personally, if they like something, I try to incorporate, you know, that aspect, aspect of it into the answer. The most frequent answer that I provide to individuals when they're asking me personally, if I know them, uh, as to why math is important, is that life, you know, it's a sweet life, it's, it's amazing or it can be amazing, but it's also an extremely brutal life or it can be an extremely brutal life. And in life, if, uh, if you haven't been knocked down yet, you know, where you have to lift, you know, pick yourself up and, you know, catch your breath, if you're if you're lucky enough, if you've been lucky enough not to experience that, then you know this probably won't relate to you. But in general, it, it relates to the majority of people out there. And that is that life can be extremely brutal at times. And mathematics, knowing math can help you out in those times. Okay. Mathematics, at worst, at worst, it won't affect your life. And that's rare because you really, really have to know no mathematics at all, not to affect, not for it not to affect you. Okay. If you know even the tinsiest bit of mathematics, it's going to help you out in life. Okay. And that's one of the main answers that I provide to people, which is, you know, life can be extremely brutal at times. Um, so it's a good idea to have as much. Uh, as much support as you can in life when you're living your life because the odds are you only get one chance at this right and if that's the case then you know mathematics can only help your life okay another answer that I provide uh, you know to this question is that you know mathematics will help you optimize live your life as best as you can Okay. No matter what you're doing in life or what you want to do or if, you know, whatever you want to create, however, however way you want to interact with life, may it be through art, music, economics, politics, whatever, whatever your, your gig is, whatever you want to do, mathematics can only help you. Okay. And again, that if, if you're really concerned about being the best at what you're you know you want to be if you want to excel in life if you want to optimize whatever it is that you're doing then mathematics can only help you short and quick answers is uh, you must be out of your mind if you think being illiterate in a language in the most used language in the world which is mathematics both between humans and humans and humans and machines and machines and machines right uh, through technology you must be out of your mind if you think knowing mathematics is not important in the past maybe that was true you know a hundred years ago 200 years ago in your daily life you know mathematics was probably knowing mathematics was probably not as important as it is today right but if you knew mathematics, you could get you know, very far a long time ago, right? So knowing mathematics in the past was not as important as it is today. And, it's, it's, and right now, it's nowhere 
close to being as important as it's going to be in the future because of technology, right? So mathematics, knowing the language of mathematics, being literate in the language of mathematics is becoming more important as we evolve, as we progress. Um, another another answer that I provide to people, um, certain types of people, certain types of people that are you know more interested about making money, about uh, you know building an empire. <laughs> Some of them, you know, people are into building empires. So if you're into building an empire, acquiring a lot of material possessions, you know, make a lot of money, buy a lot of things, and have financial freedom, really. If you're really interested, and when it gets down to it, that's really what. What it's all about, right? Having financial freedom. The people who want to build an empire, they, you know, they have extravagant taste. Some of them, some of them don't know what, what, what the price tag is for that, right? But in general, when it comes to money, when someone tells me that, you know, they want to make a lot of money, it just basically comes down to them wanting financial security, right? And if you really want financial security, you have got to be out of your mind if you think you can have it without knowing mathematics, okay? Or you might fluke out and make a lot of money doing something, and some people do, uh, you know, acquire a lot of wealth by accident. To keep that wealth, you're going to need to know math. It's, it's plain, simple. Uh, it, it doesn't get any simpler than that when it comes to life, when it comes to in, you know, being financially secure in life. To be able to keep your money, to be able to keep your wealth, to be able to live a secure lifestyle, you need to learn mathematics. If you don't know math, then you're relying on other people telling you the truth of what's going on. And if you're doing that in, in economics, in business in general, um, unless you're surrounded by extremely trustworthy people and the information coming to you is 100% accurate and I don't know that world exists, to tell you the truth, it, it's, it's not here right now. If, if you want to be able to keep your wealth, then you have to know math, okay? The basics of mathematics, which is basically, you know, high school math. One of the one of the things I provide to uh, people in general, actually everyone that we talk about, one of the one of the most common answers that I give people is, uh, you know, we're we're human beings, we're social creatures, and you know, because of us being social creatures, most of us, uh, you know, do want to be attractive and attracted to the, you know, whoever we want to be attracted to. Right? So in life, in general, if you want to, you know, if you want people to like you, if you want, if you want to be attractive to whoever it is that you're interested in, whatever, whatever situation that you're interested in, whatever partners you're interested in, whatever people you're interested in, right? If you're interested in being attractive, as far as I know, and it's pretty much well accepted fact of reality, that there are two main things that we have that are the most attractive attractive features of us. One is what we have in our hearts, right? Who you are, how you, how you interact with the world, right? What you decide to do in the world. If you're good, if you're evil, if you're if you're nice, if you're not, if you're if you try to, you know, walk a certain path, this path or that path, whatever it is, right? If you're if you're interested in attracting whatever you're interested in attracting, one of the most important things you need to have is is what's in here, right? What's in your heart. The other one is what's in your head, right? So the two most attractive features of human beings, of us, is what's in our hearts and what's in our minds. And mathematics is a really, really important, uh, you know, important bit of information. The language of mathematics is a really important bit of information to put into your mind. As, as basic as it gets, knowing mathematics makes you smarter.
so those are some of the you know just personal answers depending on who's asking me that question that I provide to people right based on who they are what I know of them how long I've known them what mood I'm in what tone that they're using and you know there are different types of answers that you can provide fine-tuned to individuals you know if you know them well or if I know them well I fine-tune it to why why math might be important to them if they're asking me why math is important to me then you know all I can say is that math has helped me out in life I can't I can't even ima imagine what my life would be like if I didn't know math I, I really can't and I think it would be a horror <laughs> as far as I'm concerned because uh, mathematics has helped me out in every aspect of my life every single aspect of my life mathematics has helped me out okay and you know whatever that doesn't hurt you can only help you and mathematics is one of those things that you can learn in life that will help you out in life okay and that's you know that's the straight up answer that I can provide of why math is important to me okay why mathematics has helped me out in life and has been important